Welcome to our lecture online. Now we're going to do something interesting. We have the same problem as we did on the previous video, but what we're trying to do now is find the point where the temperature, let's call it Tc, is exactly halfway between Ta and Tb. And we're trying to find where that point is located. And it's probably not going to be right in the middle between the inside and the outside radius. Where exactly is that going to be? We're going to take the concept in mind that dq dt is going to be a constant, so the heat flow across this is going to be constant regardless of where we are. And since Tc is defined as Ta plus Tb divided by 2, that would be the halfway point between the two, we can then use this equation to try to figure out where that temperature is exactly halfway between Ta and Tb. So we're going to set the two equations equal to each other. The heat flow through the inside portion of that shell equals to the dq dt on the outside portion of the shell. So with other words, we can say that dq dt on the inside, let's call this region 1 and let's call this region 2, is equal to dq dt on the outside portion of that shell. All right, so now we're going to use this equation. So we're going to say that k 2 pi l divided by the natural log of now in this case, we go from A to C. We call that point right here. Let's call this distance from there to wherever that point is. We'll call that C. So we go from A to C. So C divided by A times the temperature difference between TA and TC. And that must be equal to K 2 pi L divided by the natural log of. Now we go from C to B. But B is the bigger number of the two, so we go B over here divided by C, and here the temperature difference from the larger to the smaller. So in this case, that would be TC minus TB. And B right there. Okay. So first of all, we can cancel out everything that's the same, which is this is the same as that, so that cancels, which means we end up with TA minus TC divided by the natural log of C over A is equal to... Tc minus Tb divided by the natural log of B over C. All right, what should we do next? What are we trying to find? We're trying to solve for Tc. So what we should do is... Okay, what we have to realize here, because at first you look at that and go, this might be an algebraic nightmare, but if we look at it carefully, realize that Ta minus Tc must be equal to Tc minus Tb. They have to be equal to each other because TC is right halfway between TA and TB. So because of that, we can write this as 1 over the natural log of C over A is equal to 1 over the natural log of B over C. And if that's the case, then we can say, therefore, we can conclude that the natural log of C over A must equal the natural log of b over c. Of course, if that's true, then we can conclude, come over here, that c over a must equal b over c, which means that c squared is equal to a times b, which means that c must therefore equal to the square root of a times b. And this is the location for c, the point where the temperature is right halfway between t a and t b. In other words, we know the inside radius, we know the outside radius, and therefore C is equal to the square root of the product of those two radii. And that is the position where the temperature will be exactly halfway between the inside and the outside temperature. And that's how it's done.